I'm Britt here with a kettlebell quickie. Let's get fit in a jiffy. Today we're going to be doing a warm up kettlebell workout and cool down. Let's get started. We're going to begin in a wide square position. So you're going to take your feet wider than hip width apart and we're going to hinge at the hips. So we're going to slide down a little bend in the knees, stretch out those hips and hamstrings, squeezing your booty at the top. We're going to do 10 reps here. This is going to help us warm up for our shin circle figure eight that we're going to be doing in class today. Three, four, think about spreading the floor with your feet, five, and pushing that floor away as you come up. Six, you should feel that in your hamstrings and your booty. Seven, Eight, nine on this last one. You're gonna keep your hand on one hand on the leg and you're gonna open up and rotate to the ceiling. Okay, bring that arm down, switch to the other side. One more each direction. Last one. Good, coming back up. Very nice, we're gonna move into our workout. For today's workout, as I mentioned, we're gonna do a shin circle figure eight. So you're gonna need your kettlebell. I'm using a four kg or 10 pound kettlebell. So I suggest using a light weight for this one. We're gonna take a wide square stance and what we're gonna do, hinge at the hips, nice flat back, push your booty out. And we're simply gonna circle that kettlebell around one shin and then around the other, maintaining that body position. That's one, we're gonna do five in each direction. Two, good, stay strong through that midsection. Three, keep your abs engaged. Four, you are gonna feel some work on the low back and that's okay, we're strengthening your low back with this move. That's five, reverse direction. Good, five more. That's four. One for three. Last couple here. Take your time going around. Two, that time under tension in this position is what builds a strength. And one, good, kettlebell down. We're gonna come into just a quarter squat position, hands on your hips. You're gonna tilt your pelvis. So think lift up the back of your pelvis and then tuck your tailbone under, five reps. And then we're gonna do one more set of our shin circle figure eights. Three, four, And five, good, straighten up the leg, shake them out for a minute. We got one set to go. Grab your bell, get yourself set, nice flat backs. So you wanna avoid rounding here. So think, stick your booty out, grab your bell and go. Good, one. Just going slow is really important here. Two, again, that's what's gonna help us build the strength in the core and in the lower body. Three, actually you're working your arms here as well, so really it's a total body exercise. Four. And five, reverse it. Counting down, five. Almost there. Four, slow down your pace. Try not to go any faster than I'm going. Three, two, and one. Excellent job, bell down. Find that quarter squat position one more time. Five pelvic tilts. One, see if you can really feel that lower abdomen pull in. Two, three, 
four, five. Good, shake those legs out. That's gonna conclude our workout. We're gonna move into the cool down. So again, in your wide square stance, you're gonna just bend one leg and keep the other leg straight and you're just gonna find a nice stretch there, sliding back up. We'll do this four times. Other side. Two. One more each side. Three. And four. We're gonna finish with a standing nasal belly breath. All that means you're gonna place your hands on your tummy, breathe in and out through your nose and see if you can feel your belly inflate and collapse as you breathe. Let's do five breaths together. Feel free to close your eyes. And go ahead and open your eyes. Thank you so much for being here today for this kettlebell quickie. Have a beautiful day.